welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know it has been a hot minute, but I will do a whole separate other video explaining to you guys where I've been, what's the update. That'll probably be the next video. It'll probably be more like vlog style. Since it is the end of July, I thought I would do a favorites video. So I've got a bunch of stuff for you guys today. I have a bunch of makeup, a bunch of books, and gym stuff, all that type of stuff. So without further ado, let's just jump in right, right into it. So first things first, I think we will start with makeup since it's sitting right in front of me. So for makeup, <laughs> I actually just noticed this while I was um, picking out my favorites for uh, the video that I have actually really been loving e.l.f. for some reason. Like all of these products are e.l.f. So first off, I'll start with this one. It's the... Just kidding, this is not e.l.f. This is NYX. I thought this was e.l.f. Um, so yeah, we'll start with NYX and then we'll work our way to e.l.f. So this is the NYX Wonder Stick. One side it has contour and the other side is a highlight, so I'll show you. <laughs> it's Bubba's right there. Um, this side is a highlight and I'm wearing it today. All the makeup that I'm showing you, I wear it every single day. So that's what the highlight looks like. And it's just a stick that twists. Very convenient. And then this is the contour side. And it's like a lipstick. You can spin it up or spin it down. I really like that. I'm using it every day. And then I recently I went to Ulta. Um, I found in the little section when you're about to check out, they have all these little sample minis and stuff. So when I was a senior in high school, I went to have my makeup done for prom. And I went to MAC to have the uh, makeup artist there do my makeup. And she sprayed this MAC Fix Plus on me for my setting spray. And I forgot all about it because I had purchased it when she did my makeup for prom. And I forgot all about it after I finished it. So I saw this and I was like, huh, that looks familiar. I bought it, brought it home and as soon as I sprayed it on my face, it just feels so cool, so refreshing. And it does have some, it does have, it's not like a strong fragrance, but I don't know. However it smells, I don't even know how to describe the scent. However it smells, I really enjoy the scent and it does what it's supposed to do for your makeup all day. So as you can see, it's empty and I need to get more, but I've been really loving that. This time I'll get the full size. Okay, moving on to L'Oreal. The I always get compliments on my stick and this is what I wear. So this is the L'Oreal. It is the shade I Create 416. It's like a liquid lipstick, but it turns matte. It stays on all day. And it, it'll dry up in a second. I was never a lipstick person until one day I saw this at, I think it was Walgreens. Or CVS. I was like, I'll just give it a try and I put it on. And I've been wearing it like nonstop. So, got that. Okay, now we're getting into the e.l.f. stuff. So, this is all by e.l.f. So, I went to Target the other day and I found this e.l.f. putty blush. They only have this really dark, like deep maroon purple type of color. Or the other color choice was like a peach coral, but the peach coral just looked too light, but this looked so dark. I don't wear blushes this dark, so I decided why not, I'll just give it a try. All the other colors were sold out besides these two, and I'm actually wearing it today, and it actually looks pretty good. It doesn't look too, you know, too heavy or anything, so I really like it. I apply it with a beauty blender. When you apply it with a beauty blender, you can like drag it up, so that way your face looks a little bit more lifted. So this is a blush I've been wearing every day. And then another one by e.l.f., the Poreless Putty Primer. Really like this stuff because the other day I noticed um, when I was doing my makeup, you can really see my pores even through my makeup. So I decided to give this a try. You put on your lotion and everything before, and then you put this on, and then you wait 30 seconds before applying your makeup, and my pores are gone. I really like it. It goes on like really smooth, it's really soft. There's no fragrance to it, so that's really nice. Next up is this e.l.f. 
Flawless Brighten Concealer. The reason that I really love this is because it's like a brush at the end and you like click this down and then just, you know, dab it where you need it. And that's super convenient. I really like it. It blends out really nice for me. So that's what I've been liking for concealer. And again, everything that I'm showing you guys for makeup is what I'm wearing today. So this is like how it all looks. And then last but not least is the Power Grip Primer. This stuff is no joke. I put it on and like it's sticky, super sticky. I've seen like this is supposed to be a dupe for, I forgot who else made one. But this is like, this works even better than that one. So I've been kind of, as you can see, I'm empty. Um, I've been alternating from this one to the putty primer, but I think I'm gonna stay with the putty primer just because for my pores, but if you really want your makeup to stick, any of the bottle the whole summer so that's been really nice and you just smell clean i don't know i don't know how to describe this that's the that's the best i got anyways moving on we can do books next i got some books next to me i don't know if you guys have been seeing everything that's trending for books like on instagram tiktok books are just like becoming a real big thing um i've always loved books i've loved reading since forever um, I've noticed a lot of books too that they're gonna be um, adapted into movies, so that's super exciting. The one that I'm really excited to see, I think she she actually just announced it, is the this book by Colleen Hoover. It ends with us. This has been a really good book, honestly. I thought it was a good book, but I don't like 
it's got some like you know like um like you know relationship abuse and stuff like that that's not my favorite to read about you know i like light not even necessarily light but like anything that has to do with abuse i guess it's like a um trigger for me so regardless i still love the book i thought it was very good very well written and it was just it was really good um basically i don't want to give any spoilers but it's basically about this girl who falls for a doctor and you know where that goes but um she has like this childhood friend that she knows forever that she's bumped into again so that's all i'll say about that bottom line is it's really good you should read it and it's about to be turned into a movie so yeah, I saw it last night actually that um, Colleen Hoover announced that it was going to be made into a movie now. So that's really cool. My next favorite is The Spanish Love Deception by Elena Armas. Y'all, when I tell you I love this book, I freaking love this book. I'm in love with um, uh, one of the main characters, his name is Aaron, who's like the love interest. And, um, I don't know, I might just be biased because it's, um, written from, it's written by a Hispanic, um, about his, uh, a Hispanic, Catalina, the other main, it, it was just, like, a really good, like, they hate each other to be, they become lovers, and, like, it, it was good. But you gotta read, like, most of the book to get to, like, the, like, juicy love stuff between them, so that one was really good, I really loved that one. But again, I might be biased because I'm Hispanic. I just thought it was really good. And it, some parts of it have um, Spanish in it. They do do the translation um, under, you know, along with it. So you can, if you don't speak Spanish, it goes along with it. But this one is really cute. I hope they make this one into a movie next. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I feel like movies have actually been sucking.
one. Again, I will link everything. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the black one. I ordered this black one so I could do these. So I got that one from Amazon as well. And then I'll show you guys the nude one. So this is the nude one. It's Medima Gel Color Soak Off Gel Polish. And this one's like a really good like neutral pink um, like nude tone. And then the, the black one is by Mode Loans Gel Nail Polish. Just plain black from Amazon. All from Amazon. I will link everything down below that I can, if I can find it still, if it's still available. Next thing to go along with my like nail kit is I got these brushes that are specifically for your nails to do designs on them and stuff. So they have like different brush tip ends and then different size of like the dotting tools. That's been really helpful. That's what I use to make these designs on my nails. I have not been to a nail salon in like, I don't even know how long. Um, these stay on really great. They don't pop off. Um, they don't like break or anything. And I'm pretty rough with my hands all the time. So for them to have not, none of them have popped off or break or broke, break, broke, broke on me. I don't know. They've been really good. It's really good quality. I love them. Um, next thing up for my nails, I'm pretty sure you all have seen this trend going around. The Hailey Bieber's like, I guess they're calling it a glazed donut um, nail look but it's like a chrome, like pearl type of nail. I would consider it more of like a mermaid type of nail. But again, I ordered it off Amazon and it's just like a chrome color. It looks like this, like a powder. So you dip one of these applicators in here and you just rub it on your nail and it comes out super pretty, like iridescent, I guess is the word. Let's go ahead and move on to clothing. So for clothing, I was at Target the other day. I've already tried these on. Um, but they are these joggers. I love the look of joggers, but since I'm so short, they don't fit on me like a jogger should. Um, so these are by All In Motion at Target, and they were actually on clearance. They were originally $20, and then they were on clearance for $10. So it's a moisture wicking, quick dry, UPF 50 plus, four way stretch. A secure, secure zipper pockets. And then they've got these, uh, the ties inside the waistband. But towards the end, it's more of like a legging material. So that way, um, cause when I wear joggers, they don't like, you know, the joggers are supposed to stop at like your ankle or something. And since I'm so short, mine always, like, they're super long and I have to, like, keep, like, pulling them up and they just, you know, they fall back down whenever I walk. So these, like, hug my leg at the bottom so that they actually stay where they need to stay. But they, I've bought so many joggers that, uh, like, I just, I want them to work and they don't because I'm just so short. So, that's that. And then my last clothing item, well, kind of. My last clothing item is this hat. I love, I got it off Amazon. I love how it has like these little tears in the hat. So it kind of looks like distressed. It's just a black hat. It has a gold like clip and it's pretty easy to adjust it. So you open it and you pull this thing and then, you know, tighten it, whatever. So how it looks on. I really love it. I think it's super, they have a bunch of different colors, I'm pretty sure, so I'll make sure to link this for you guys. But yeah, it's super cute. I really like it. It's like, I don't like the hats that don't like have structure up here, and this one has structure, so I really like that. You wanna say hi, Bubby? <laughs> My dog. This is Bubs. Come here, Bubba. Come here. Come here, say hi. say hi. Yeah, that's that. Excuse me, Bella. I forgot. Another clothing, not clothing, but shoe wear, I guess kind of ties into clothing, um, are these Nike shoes. I really like the color. They're like a nude. 
I wear these all all day at Disney and of course your feet are still gonna hurt from doing that much walking at Disney and doing it all day but these were very comfortable and like because we went for two days the first day I wore Converse my feet were absolutely dying but they're pretty good and I wore them all day I like the nude like beige type of color and they've got like little flecks of uh, different colors in there and it's got like you know it's like a bubble type of look but I really love these these are my favorite like running shoes at the moment because other than those I wear like Converse I guess we'll start going into like uh, gym stuff um, so this next one is a water jug that I have water jug water bottle I don't know it's like a jug but uh, my sister got this for me as a gift and it has like the markers here of when to drink and it has this little pouch right here you put your phone and your keys and it's got the strap so this has been my go-to water that I keep up with every day Sorry. One more thing for the gym category are these Zoa drinks. It's zero sugar. This one's Tropical Punch and it's 120 milligrams of caffeine. Um, I used to drink these Celsius ones, but they, um, they always made me feel like super jittery and like I just like could not keep up and my heart was going to burst out of my chest. They're drinking Zoas and they, they give me like the energy that I need without like making me feel like I'm gonna like explode so I really like those and then I've got two more things to show you guys that I can't bring it over here but I will pick you guys up and I'll show you okay guys next thing is I got this Nespresso machine from Costco 
and I have got all these pods and it comes with the milk frother I've been absolutely loving this I think you guys know how much I loved Duncan and I would get Duncan like every day and I've been saving so much money just making my Nespresso's at home and then like just the Nespresso uh, milk frother has like taken my coffee up to like a whole other game so this has been my favorite and I actually got this cup to go with my coffees to drink it says Disneyland um, comes with a straw and everything I'll link the shop that I got it off of on Etsy and um, this is what I've been drinking my my cute little coffee moments with and um, that's been super cool um, but yeah I really like it it's super cute I do wish that it was a little bit bigger but it's fine um, it's still cute and they came it came with a little like straw brush to clean the straw but yeah that's that now the last thing that I want to show you guys is this butterfly net that I got off of Amazon and you can see right there we've caught some cocoons it's kind of hard to see with the net but those are super cute um, I got this net off of Amazon and then so the thing about this net focus there we go the thing about this net is that um, when you order it off Amazon um, they put a little like card voucher in the box um, with the net so that you can go onto the website and then you can order the caterpillars separately and they give you monarch butterflies so I don't know if you guys know this or if you've heard of it yet but monarch, monarch butterflies are actually um, just been announced as part of the endangered species list so um, I ordered these little guys off of Amazon as well they come with five or six live caterpillars um, but these aren't monarch butterflies these are painted ladies um, but I, I already ordered from with using my free voucher I ordered uh, more caterpillars they should be coming in soon um, but those will be monarch butterflies so once these hatch out of their cocoons I'm gonna release them out and then um, I'll give you guys updated um, in my vlogs to come what they look like when they um, hatch free and then once I get my monarch ones um, we'll just repeat the process I'll show you guys that and I'll release them out into the wild kind of try to help more you know um, with the giving back to the try to help out you know with their species and um, making sure that they survive so I kind of would like to keep doing this um, and I, I love butterflies I love everything about butterflies so I think yeah we'll wait for these to hatch out of their cocoons um, we'll release them and then we'll get our monarchs and then um, my plan is to keep getting uh, the caterpillars that turn into the monarch butterflies and just trying to help out with their species and making sure that they stay alive but yeah that's my last favorite for today hope you guys enjoyed today's video and um thank you so much for coming back and watching my videos i hope you guys have a wonderful day and i will see you all in my next video bye